With its cutting-edge semiconductor technology, Japan's Rapidus chipmaker is ushering in the next era of the digital economy. Rapidus aims to strengthen its semiconductor technology and 5G message communication system infrastructure research and development project. Plus, they've received an additional grant to build a pilot line which is expected to run by 2025. Tune in and watch this video until the end because we will learn more about Japan's latest push in advanced semiconductor technology. So, let's dive straight in. IBM's ported chipmaker Rapidus requires 7 trillion yen for mass production by 2027. Rapidus, a chipmaker supported by IBM, announced in a recent Reuters article that they require approximately 7 trillion yen to begin mass production of advanced logic chips by 2027. This is due to their dedication to developing cutting-edge semiconductors essential to Japan's success in artificial intelligence and autonomous driving fields. The Minister of Economy, Trade and Industry have pledged to increase financial support for Rapidus due to the company's ability to produce thinner wafers in Japan than 2NM. As the cost of attaining this is estimated to be in the trillions of yen, the government is willing to continue and increase financial support for the company. Rapidus to receive 300 billion yen from Japanese government. The Japanese Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry intends to grant Rapidus Corporation 300 billion yen or 2.27 billion US dollars to construct Japan's most powerful semiconductor factory. The government is committed to assisting Rapidus in bringing advanced logic chips to market as they believe that domestic production of such components is crucial to Japan's success in sectors such as artificial intelligence and autonomous driving. Japan aims to triple sales of domestic semiconductor products by 2030. In April, the Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry announced that it intends to treble sales of semiconductor-related products manufactured in Japan by 2030 to 15 trillion yen. This objective is inspired by the opening of TSMC's Kumamoto plant and Rapidus Corporation, which manufactures innovative products. In addition, the Ministry will provide subsidies for equipment investments of up to 570 billion yen. Once these projects are placed into production, the 10-year GDP growth is anticipated to reach 4.2 trillion yen. ASML applies for enterprise R&D financing for 2NM wafer optical measurement apparatus development in Taiwan. ASML, a semiconductor equipment manufacturer, has applied for A-plus enterprise R&D financing from the Taiwan Ministry of Economic Affairs, according to a report from Taiwan's Central News Agency. The funding will be used to research and develop a 2NM wafer optical measurement apparatus and its production. The Ministry of Economic Affairs will evaluate the application to determine how it can assist in upgrading supply chain technology and increasing the domestic self-made rate. The a Enterprise Innovation R&D Strengthening Plan is intended to attract international manufacturers to invest in Taiwan and assist Taiwanese operators in entering the supply chain for front and equipment. ASML had previously announced its intention to increase investment in Taiwan, establishing Lingkau and developing optical wafer measurement equipment with a resolution of 2NM. Ministry of Economic Affairs reviews ASML's R&D funding scheme for 2NM wafer. Following regulations, the Ministry of Economic Affairs has accepted the research and development funding scheme for review with the government subsidy ratio expected to be less than 50%. The assessment will concentrate on increasing domestic production rates and enhancing local technology. ASML's facility in Taiwan is already capable of producing radical transfer modules and is outfitted with deep ultraviolet DUV equipment. According to the head of the Ministry of Economic Affairs, Taiwan is the only manufacturing base in the world for ASML's DUV mask transfer module, which attracts foreign investors to invest in Taiwan and drives the development of supply chain manufacturers like Shenyang. 
semiconductor manufacturer Weida advances computational exposure. In a recent announcement, the CEO of Weida Advanced Technology, Wang Renshan, stated that computational exposure has been effectively implemented in semiconductor manufacturing. Currently, the company is collaborating with TSMC, Colitho from ASML, and Synopsys to increase output and reduce carbon footprint, paving the way for 2NM and beyond. Nevertheless, WIDA still needs to establish a distinct commercial model for Colitho. They are leveraging their industry-leading position to increase their prospective AI market share through GPU share. TSMC to launch 2NM processor with nano sheet transistors. According to supply chain news, TSMC plans to initiate its 2NM production process in Baoshan Township, Hinshu City, and begin mass production in the second half of 2025. The company is also preparing to launch its N2P process in 2026, utilizing backside powered network technology. The introduction of nano sheet transistors to replace fin field effect transistors signifies the beginning of the GAA transistor era marked by TSMC's 2NM processors. TSMC to lead the way in 2NM processor technology as production years in 2025. It is anticipated that the 2NM wafers will be 10 to 15% quicker than their 3NM counterparts at the same power consumption while consuming 25 to 30% less power at the same speed. Notably, Samsung intends to implement BSPDN technology in their 2NM process as well. Even though numerous nations are competing for the 2NM advanced process, TSMC is in the lead and will most likely remain victorious. And that completes our video for today. We hope you enjoyed learning the amazing and cutting-edge semiconductor technology of Japan's Rapidus. Which feature are you most excited about? Tell us in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Tech Browse for more content such as this.